Thanks so much for tuning back in. We are live here at the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center with our second guest, Chef DeShane. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. Of course. Chef Kev D. Yes. Is what you're, what you're going by. What yes. you're known as. Yeah, Chef Kev D. I get a lot of different plays on my last name, mm -hmm. so to shorten it and for the website and everything, Chef Kev D is Chef great. Chef Kev D. I yep. love it. Yes. Awesome. So you are the official chef of Kiel Vodka, which we love them. We just had them on not too long ago. Um, you are a private chef, and you have years and years of experience in the kitchen. So let's start off. I'd love to hear about your story, yes. your background, and how you got started in the culinary world. So my first memories, I think, like a lot of kids, yeah. either their mother or their grandmother. For me, it was my grandmother. Yes. In the Italian kitchen, making the Sunday family meals yeah, and the gravy. Sunday gravy. <laughs> um, so those memories are, are burned forever, and I always wanted to get back to it. And so fast nice. forward to college days, I went to school for business down in North Carolina. Nice. And just always worked in restaurant kitchens. Of course. Worked my way up that way. Worked with a bunch of really cool chefs. Came back to New England. Worked with some more sh cool chefs. Became an executive chef at 28. Oh, and wow. then just kind of worked in all kinds of restaurants, opened my own restaurant up in Burlington, Vermont. And what restaurant was in Burlington? 156 Bistro. Very nice. Beautiful open kitchen right on Lake Champlain. Beautiful. Did that for oh a couple of years. Uh, I was a chef at Washington Square Tavern in Boston as well. Nice. So all over New England, and now I have stepped out over the last couple of years into the private chef world, and I travel the country. That is really, really cool. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your experiences and how it differentiates between being a chef, you know, whether you're a restaurant owner, you're an executive chef, or, you know, and then having that comparison to being a private chef. How does it differentiate? What do you like? What do you don't like? The number one thing I like is I get to make my own schedule. Absolutely. I still work constantly mm -hmm. and all the time, but if, if I need a day off or a week off or anything, I can kind of I can work that yeah. in. Uh, I also like the freshness of it's a different group every night, it's a different menu every night, mm -hmm. it's often a different state every night, yes. different kitchen, different. sometimes it's fine dining, sometimes it's a lobster bake, sometimes it's a backyard barbecue. So that's so cool. So I get to so do... So you, you have a little bit of influence right. on the menu and, and you know, you're putting your own touch on things. So people yes. might say, I want this idea, and you can kind of put your own spin on it and, and yeah, come up with a creative menu. We go back and forth on the menu. I like this. I can't have this. Mm -hmm. We plug a few things in and then we're off to the races. That is really cool. Yeah. Yes. So tell me a little bit about your travels. Now, as a private chef, you kind of get to go all over the place. Yes. Um, and, and where have you been lately? Where are you going? Uh, most recently, I just did the Mohegan Sun Wine Fest where I Very got to work cool. with Bobby Flay again, my yes. buddy Aaron Sanchez, Brian Duffy, all those great chefs. Um, and a bunch of chefs from Boston, Jason Santos. So I get to do festivals with, like that when I get to work with the other chefs who do the same thing that I do. Yes, and now what was your role at the Mohegan Sun? I Festival? did a big demo on stage. Cool, um, what did you make? Uh, I made a seared halibut with a fennel marmalade. Ooh, that sounds really good. A little nice. bit of celery root and blood orange puree. Ooh. And uh, it went over really well. Yeah, I can see how that would be a crowd favorite. Huge crowds. They have a brand new expo center there, and it was like 10,000 people there. 10,000? Yeah, it was huge. Oh, my God. Yeah, so, I mean, I get to do festivals like that and red, red carpet stuff. I get to go on boats and work with celebrities and athletes, which is really cool. Most of them, 9 out of 10, have been amazing. 9 out of 10. They're just as excited to have me there as a chef, not as a like celebrity chef, but yes. just in a dinner party, the chef is kind of the center of attention. So yes. They're happy that I'm there. I'm happy that they're there. So it all they're works out great. They're excited to try your delicious That's food. right. Yeah. Definitely. So tell me a little bit, you know, about the celebrities that you've worked with or the athletes. Who is notable? Who have, you know, who's been your favorite to work with? Well, obviously Matt Light from Keel and the Patriots. We I love work, them. We do yes. a lot of events together and he's, he's just a fun guy. Mm -hmm. Likes all my food. Well, at least he says he does. So I'm sure let's he does. Hope he does. Uh, but recently I worked with Isaiah Thomas from the Pistons. Wow. Uh, I did a champagne dinner with him. He has a new brand of champagne. We did some pairings together. Mm -hmm. uh, Juliana Rancic from I E. I saw that in her Prosecco. Yep. And Kathy mm -hmm. Lee, I've done a Today Show a bunch of times, and yeah. I've done private events with her as well, and she's really sweet. Yes. And then I've done big festivals with Tim McGraw and Kevin Bacon wow. and all those guys. Get out of yeah. here. Yeah. Wow. So it's definitely, it, it, it stays fun for me. That is really yeah. cool. So you are no stranger to being on camera. So this is probably like a breeze for you. You've got a lot of on-camera experience. You just mentioned that you worked with Kathy Lee Gripper yep. on Today Show. Yep. So tell me a little bit about some of your televised experiences. You've worked um, beating Bobby Flay, on Sp and then you've had Spike TV involved. Tell me about some of your favorites. On television. So my very first one was Chef Juana with Amberell. We went out to Cincinnati yes. and filmed something out there. That was fun, but that was my first real national experience. Definitely. I also did Beat Bobby Flay, which I'm going back as a judge next season. Are you really? Yep, so that'll oh be fun. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And I just got back from filming the Great Food Truck Race out in L.A., season yes. 9. 
We made the whole season. It was amazing. 3,000 miles in a food truck across the West Coast and Vegas and Phoenix and Palm Springs, L.A., Yuma, Arizona. Get out of here. So uh, where did you start? 3,000 miles. Where did the journey begin? Started in Los Angeles. Wow. Los Angeles through the desert in a food truck to Las Vegas, down God. to Phoenix, then to Yuma, Arizona, and then Palm Springs where we were at Coachella and Stagecoach Festival. Wow. And then for the finals, we went back up to L.A. So that we did a whole crazy. circle of the West Coast. So you had a really cool, you know, road trip in the food truck. Yes. You were driving. And the whole thing was we, we were New England themed, so yeah. which so is great. you're bringing New England flavor yeah, out to the West Yeah, lobster Coast. fritters and fish and chips and pot roast sliders and all, all kinds of shrimp dishes and fun, like, rustic New England stuff that they can't get out there anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, you're bringing lobsters and fish and chips out to the West Coast. They're like, we don't ever get this. This is so amazing. Right. People would come up. I'm from Boston. I'm from Connecticut. I'm oh from New God. Hampshire. They're like, like my favorites. Yeah, because let's face it, n nobody's from Las Vegas, right? Yeah, yeah. So everybody was like, oh, I, this reminds me of home. So we were very well received on the West Coast. That is really cool. Yeah. What has been your favorite televised or sh celebrity chef style experience? There's so many to name. As far as like the festivals, I love doing Greenwich every year because that's a a huge music scene too. It's been yeah. Tim McGraw and Train and all those big bands I get wow. to work with and rub elbows with, which is fun for me because yes, I'm a big definitely. music fan. I love the Sun Wine Fest. I do Vegas food and wine. Um, upcoming stuff, I'm doing a couple guest chef, like a series of guest chef events. Wow. Headed down to Miami in a couple weeks to do one during South Beach food and wine. Nice. At a big resort, so that'll be fun. And then right after that, I'm going to Nashville. Cool. to Gavin DeGraw's restaurant, and I'm doing a big guest chef experience there with there's going to be a country artist. I'm doing a five-course dinner with Music City Light and some tequila. It's so much fun. Um, I get to work with the other chefs. You totally Nashville. should. We'll, we'll film from down there. Let's yeah, go. That's Come too on cool. down. So how does that work? You go into the restaurant, you bring your own menu, you're able to execute how you see fit. Yeah, I kind of come up with a menu. Um, New England based stuff, but I also for Nashville, I've worked in Nashville hot sauce and some of their drinks and, and kind of mold it to where I'm going to be yeah. to make it specific to them. And then I work with their chef and their staff and I come in and I help prep and we go through all the recipes and I play. So I'm very hands on. But then I pop out between courses and say, hey, I made this lobster fritter on the, on the great food truck race Amazing. and I got this dish from here and, you know. That's kind of how that all goes, but it's really fun to work with the staff from the house and back of the house at all these yeah. different restaurants around the country. That's awesome. Yeah. So you're bringing New England flavor all over the place. I'm trying. I love that. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about what you brought with you today. You made a beautiful plating. So I made just a little bit of blackberry jam, which nice. I've done a lot and, and people blackberry seem to jam. love. Sweet and tart. And yeah, there's only a few ingredients. This it's it's uh, I sautéed some Granny Smith apples. Wow. And threw the blackberries in there, deglazed with a little red wine shot of balsamic and then a little bit of sugar and I just really? let it reduce. Yep. I wasn't expecting that. So just five or six ingredients, nice. simple ingredients, so you get the flavors of the apple and the tart of the balsamic. Beautiful. And with some burrata and mm. a little bit of meats and some fruits and you can do anything with it. You can jar it and put it on toast, use it as a cheese plate, so it's really versatile. That's beautiful. I've, I've even used this in keel cocktails as well. Have you? Yes. Oh my god, that would be really good yeah, in a keel cocktail. It's excellent. A little bit of soda water, some of that. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm calling Max. I'm having him make you one should. of those. <laughs> awesome. So tell me a little bit about Behind My Chef Coat. This is Beyond My Chef Coat. So this is meaning like I get to do all kinds of fun stuff out yes. of my chef coat and stuff that I wouldn't yes. normally be able to do if I was stuck in a restaurant. I love right. the restaurant business. I still miss some things about it, but Definitely. I get to go on boats and work with other chefs and go to other restaurants. You get to travel across the country, yeah. everywhere in between. So there's like 50 recipes in there, also cocktails in here, the whole cocktail section in the nice. middle. But then there's some short stories about different restaurants and, and cities that I've worked in. And then fast forward to all the TV shows and the fun people I've worked with and the private dinners. So fast forward all the way to the things I get to do in and out of my chef coat, which has opened up a whole new world. That's just too cool. Yeah. So if you're interested in what it's like to be, you know, have a, a glimpse into the life of a private chef, this is the book that you're going to want to read. That's right. And it's got some great recipes. Um, some great folks wrote on the back. Uh, Matt Light is one of them. Awesome. Brian Duffy from Bar Rescue, who's another chef. I love it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's just fun stories, recipes, cocktails, a few desserts, too. That is awesome. Yeah. Now, where can we follow you online that we can stay up to date with all of your travels and all of the different events that you're going to be at? So my website is chefkevd.com. Awesome. And all my social media is right on there. Chef Kevd. So you can find everything right there, my Instagram, uh, 
Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. Go right from the website and you can see what I'm doing. It's going to be tough to keep up with you. You're just all over the place. I'm trying to stay busy. Yes, indeed. Trying. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing this delicious looking plate with us. Thanks for having me. Excellent. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back with our fourth and final guest.